Welcome back everyone. Today we are going to make calcium acetate. For this you will need 107 grams of eggshells, 200 milliliters of 60% acetic acid and some distilled water. Eggshells are mostly made of calcium carbonate and therefore they will react with acetic acid to form calcium acetate. We first crush all of the eggshells down into the beaker maximize the surface area and to speed up the reaction. To the eggshells just a little distilled water was added to cover them all up because our acetic acid is a little too concentrated. Afterwards approximately 200 ml of 60% acetic acid were measured out. These were then simply added to the eggshells. You can see that immediately a reaction starts. This is because the calcium carbonate in the eggshells reacts with the acetic acid to form calcium acetate, water and carbon dioxide which you can see here. The beaker was left to stand until everything had dissolved and this might take a while, at least two hours. To prevent the beaker from overflowing, I occasionally use the blowtorch to keep the foam down. This actually works really well and because we got a large excess of acetic acid, the small amount that evaporated and formed acetone didn't matter. Four days later, it looked like nothing was happening anymore. For this reason, a simple filtration, gravity filtration setup was set up and all of this stuff was poured into the filter. The goal here is to get rid of all of this organic gunk contained in our acetic acid and calcium acetate solution. Afterwards, we were left with this dirty looking liquid, which has to be boiled down carefully. If it gets too hot while boiling it down, it will decompose into acetone. Calcium acetate distilled water acetic acid solution was then boiled down carefully using a hot plate. After a while, you were able to see some white flocks of calcium acetate starting to precipitate. After boiling up most of the water, we were left with this. We didn't heat it up till it was completely dry because we don't want it to decompose to acetone. Now we are going to transfer it to this plastic tray to dry it completely. It was then spread out nicely to increase its surface area and to speed up the drying process. After only a few days we were left with this bone dry calcium acetate powder. Calcium acetate is definitely not pure and therefore we are only going to put it into a plastic bag and not into a fancy container. While filling this bag, I did not wear any gloves because calcium acetate isn't dangerous. In total we collected 98 grams of calcium acetate and what can you use this stuff for? Well, you can use it to make acetone, you could make alcohol jelly, but we are going to make acetophenone from calcium acetate and calcium benzoate because this topic hasn't been covered that much on YouTube before. So if you like this video make sure to drop me one of these and consider subscribing to my channel for more chemistry content in the future. I wish all of you a nice day, until next time, bye.